In this video, I'll demonstrate my technique for color correcting and color grading a video. I'll open up color, I'll choose image correction, the first thing I'll do is I'll pull the saturation down to negative 100 and now I'll attempt to use the contrast and the brightness to get a clean black and white image. brightness a little bit okay that looks about good if you actually want to see what change this is actually making to your video clip I'll simply change my saturation back to zero and I'll toggle on and off the image correction so here's the video before correction and here's the video after correction. Just notice that the fuzz or the haze is removed once we actually color correct our video. So now I'll just turn that saturation all the way back down. The next thing I'll do is I'll raise the saturation until the colors slightly start to appear. So that looks about good. I'll just fast forward a little bit in the video. <clears throat> okay, now I'll open up the rest of the menu items and I'll simply play around with every single item until I get the desired look. So next I'll set the white balance. So I'll click on my dropper tool I'll find the widest image in the video which appears to be here and I'll set I'll just click on that image and notice my color wheel moves slightly and now I'll address the selective brightness for each until I get a desired look that I want So I'll leave the whites about 75 since it's pretty bright outside. And to get a feel of what each thing does, you should simply take that particular item and I would raise it up and raise it down to see what effect that that actually has on your picture. And you see the orange icon, if you click that it will kind of reset back to zero. So I think I may give it a little feel, not too much. Just a little feel light. I'll see how mid-range affects things. So I may pull the mid range down slightly to soften it up a little. Next I'll go into the selective saturation for each color and here again I'll just adjust each to see how red affects. Notice when I bump red up maximum red starts to peak out in certain areas. So I may leave my red about here. That looks good. Next I'll do magenta. No real effect with magenta. So I'll simply leave that at zero. Next I'll look at blue. And notice that blue kind of affects the sky and it gives the, the sky deeper 
rich or blue color so I'll leave that set high to about 93 or so next I'll try Cheyenne and notice Cheyenne gives the sky a richer blue or color so I'll leave Cheyenne pretty high next I'll look at green and green has no real effect so I'll simply leave that at zero next we'll try yellow and notice that yellow kinda warms up our image and that effect looks good so I'll leave yellow pretty high next let's look at exposure notice the dark area here around the trees I may want to raise that exposure slightly I'll raise it to about 0.1 blend with original here again that kinda gives it some mid-range a little bit I'll blend about 11 or so and that looks good so let's toggle on and off the image correction so here's the before image and here is the after image next I'll sharpen this up a little bit so I'll go to camera I'll go into camera and I want sharpen and notice the default is 0.5 I think I'll use 0.25 okay that looks pretty good now in order to color grade I'll use and this is the thing I like about Avid I'll use the red giant magic bullet looks so I'll simply go in and I'll try different looks the B show alternative it looks really nice B show city not so much Blockbuster looks okay. Bronze Epic. Epic looks really clean. I think I'm going to go with Bistro Alternative. Um, and notice down here we have further tools. We have the saturation. We can go in and we can adjust the saturation if you choose to do so. There's other gamma gain settings there's contrast if you want to further play around with the contrast there's some diffusion and we'll let that render out and I think I will put another layer of sharpening on it And I'm going to toggle that on and off to see what effect it actually has. It seems like it has a great effect. And I'll bump that down a little bit to 0.25. And I'm going to toggle that on and off to see what it looks like. And let's render it out. so now as we see we have the before and the after thanks for watching